Hey guys, and welcome to another video. My name is Annabelle, and today I wanted to talk about books and reading and I guess answering a bunch of questions that I've gotten asked over the past few weeks since I started to really commit to reading a significant amount more than I have in the past, although I was reading a good amount in the past as well. So I committed maybe four or five weeks ago to reading a book a week. <laughs> and that commitment wasn't so much about accumulating a whole bunch of information. For me, books provide not only the information, but it's what I can do with the, with the information, the knowledge that comes, the experiences then that are prompted by, you know, this understanding of, I don't know, a business principle or um, some life philosophy or something. And so it's like the progression of it being, I have a book here that I'm reading called Plant Spirit Medicine. And so there's a whole bunch of information in here, but what I've loved so much thus far is there's things in this book that I then can relate to my forest bathing, that I can relate to my own life, and that are things that I can apply right now. So when I'm looking for books to read, I'm looking more for, I guess, ultimately like the wisdom that I can get to at the end of that whole process of it being, you know, the information, turning it then into knowledge through, through actively thinking about um, what I'm reading, what's in the book. And then once I have that idea, I can then try to implement that into my life and then, you know, just see how it reacts with everything else and then I then have my own my own principle because I've applied it to my own life and so I've um, taken it in in a different way than if I were to just you know keep it there as knowledge that I could use at some point but never would. I think a lot of times people read books and they they just keep reading them and they don't actually in implement anything into their life and then that gets them frustrated and often they'll stop reading because it's like well this is not actually adding anything to my life and it's a function of you actively engaging in the material and taking those steps after you've read the book to really um, make it your own. Another question that I've been asked is what are some books that I would re recommend? What are my favorite books? And so while I can often give a list of a few books that I would recommend, it feels ingenuine and not really useful to the people actually seeing and receiving the, the books that I'm suggest suggesting. Because I have no idea where you're at in life. I have no idea what your interests are or... Um, you know what future you want for yourself and so the books that I'm reading are applying to me because there's some thing that's going on that's like yes I really need that and so if I'm suggesting a book for you it might totally not resonate with you because because of the life situation that you're in you know I go all over the place with with the books that I read I read you know, more nature stuff. I read a lot of marketing and entrepreneurial things. And so just having that um, totally different, they're just different topics. So how could I rate a book? It's like I love Tim Ferriss's 4-Hour Workweek and I love a book called Original Wisdom. It's like they're so different. And for me to try to give you book suggestions just feels ingenuine, although I do give book suggestions. And so I've just never really talked about this other piece of like me feeling that it's it might not be that helpful or useful in your life. So ultimately why I'm reading this many books is because I genuinely want to 
use them, engage with them, and think about the principles and the ideas that are within them. I have no intention of starting a book and if I don't feel like I'm going to get anything from it, continuing to read it. It's not, this is not about, you know, being the one who's, who reads 52 books, who, books a year. That's not at all the point. The point is to accumulate information, transform it into knowledge, and then actually implement it into my business and my life. So the last thing I want to end with is just this idea of being resourceful and being actively engaged in what it is that you want. It's really important to know what kind of books you want to read. I understand maybe there's a curiosity as to what kind of books I like to read and that's totally alright, but if you can't evaluate your life and understand you know, where your interests are and find books that are of interest to you and that would add to your life, that might be a sign that you need to do some more serious work to understand who you are and the vision and dream that you have for yourself. You know, we can try all we want to approach, get somewhere faster, but ultimately it takes consistency and hard work and actually engaging in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And so while books may be changing my life and improving it in ways that I didn't really think was possible and isn't possible without reading these books, that may not be something that, you know, engages you. You may read a book and feel totally powerless and unfocused and not clear about your life, and that's totally okay. There's other ways of acquiring knowledge and getting, getting experience and playing with um, different ideas. But for me, I feel extremely powerful after reading reading books and being able to implement those ideas. So I'm also planning on creating a series about business, marketing, and sort of interweaving this whole idea of, you know, choosing not to go to college, which is what I've done. If there's questions and you do genuinely want to know about books I read, I won't you know, take offense if you ask. I have, I have no problem sharing, but it's just important to be engaged in your own life and not necessarily look for the shortcuts of, you know, I've done the research on myself and I know what works for me. And so if you're the exact same person as myself, maybe you might like these um, books that I'm reading, but they're much more specified now because I've gotten through those those foundation books and so maybe what I could share in the future is some basic books that I, I could recommend to everyone and feel that everyone would get benefit from that. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye! Today is gonna be a little something more. Special